Alright guys, so considering that my Windows Whistler uh, 2419 tutorial has almost 5,000 views, I've decided to make another Windows Beta tutorial today. And this one is going to be on uh, Microsoft Windows Longhorn build 4029. And this build is pretty interesting. It's of course of uh, a early version of Windows Vista. And yeah, so uh, let's just get started. Uh, I will have all of the links that you need down below. And uh, one more thing, uh, in my uh, Windows Whistler video, there have been like a lot of people in the comments asking about, you know, like how can I do this with uh, Oracle VM VirtualBox? Well, I've never tested any of these uh, like betas with VirtualBox, so I'm not really sure if they would work in it or not. I'm going to make an assumption that they would, but they might not. Uh, so I would recommend that you download a VMware Workstation or a VMware Player, or if you're on a Mac, uh, you should download VMware Fusion. Uh, now, uh, Fusion and uh, Workstation cost money, however, VMware Player is free. So anyway, uh, with all that aside, uh, let's just get started. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to create a new uh, virtual machine and you want to go to the custom or advanced option here uh, click on next click on next again choose I will install the operating system later and then click on next now set the guest operating system as Windows XP professional click on next and you can name it anything you want I'm just going to call it uh, Longhorn 4029 and you want to leave this as the default here click on next and you want to I would at least recommend setting the memory to at least one gigabyte um, but you can probably leave it as the default I'm just gonna set it to 1024 just to be safe you can probably leave it as 512 but again that is a uh, XP preset and we're running uh, Windows Longhorn which is kind of based off XP so again uh, if you want to add more you I would again recommend you should uh, click on next use bridge networking and then click next uh, leave this as the default click next create a new virtual hard disk next keep it as IDE and click next now it wants to give a 40 gigabyte hard disk or like make a 40 gigabyte hard disk now that is probably gonna be way too big as you only need I think three gigabytes to install this on so I'm just going to give it six gigabytes I mean you don't have to give it that much I mean but what you want to make sure is checked is you want to store it as a single file and allocate all disk space now so you want to click on next uh, you can leave this as the default this is just named or this is just the name of the uh, disk click next and finish and it's now going to begin creating the virtual disk okay once it has finished creating the virtual disk you want to click on edit virtual machine settings and you want to go to the CD DVD IDE drive and you want to use ISO image file and you want to browse to the uh, Longhorn 4029 ISO that you downloaded now again this link will be down below for those of you who haven't gotten it yet uh, and pretty much everything else here looks good so you just want to click on OK now you do not want to click on power on what you want to do is go up here and click on VM power and power on to BIOS and this will actually let you get in to the BIOS so we can edit the date now this is important because uh, Longhorn builds just like uh, Windows Whistler builds also have those uh, trial periods on them so if we try to install this when the date is in 2013 it's not going to let us use it so we have to set the date to 6 20 2003 and then go to exit and saving changes yes and now you can let it start as you see it says starting windows xp pre-installation environment and this i mean the first boot is probably the thing that takes the longest on this uh but I mean everything else it's it's actually a pretty fast uh, install I already installed this once on a, another virtual machine and it wasn't really that long as you see here it is starting here there is the uh, 
pretty nice boot screen. Uh, says Microsoft Longhorn with the silver Windows logo. And we should be getting into an installation. Here we go. So, and now we get uh, standard installation prompt. You just want to click on uh, continue down here. And you want to type in the uh, product key, which I will have also down below. All right, now once you have entered in the uh, product key, you just want to click on yes, I accept the terms of this agreement here. Click on continue. Uh, click on disk zero up here. Uh, click or check, I want to format the, the selected drive using NTFS. Click on continue and then click on uh, continue again here. And you can name the uh, computer anything. I'm just going to call it Longhorn. And then click on continue. And it is now going to begin copying all the files uh, needed for the setup. So I'm going to pause the video here and I will be back once we have finished copying the files. All right, so the virtual machine is just about ready to restart here. We'll just let it do that. And then we're going to be going into the second part of the setup, which also does not take that long. But uh, let's just let it boot up here again. All right, and we get a uh, Windows Longhorn. Please wait while Windows repairs to start. And we should get a, uh, yeah, here's the setup. And there's like a nice animated cursor, which I believe this that those cursors were in they were, they were in Windows XP. They, I think they were, no, they were still in, in Vista. I'm, I'm not sure about 7 or, or 8, but but yeah. Um, anyway, this is where it uh, detects your PC's hardware. And this, can, it can take up to, uh, to 10 minutes, but it doesn't really take that long for me. And it will, uh, I think it will restart one more time and we will get into the actual desktop. It actually... Uh, doesn't ask you any like uh, user information in this build, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen a uh, Windows beta do that. It usually asks you like, uh, you know, simple things like your name and your location and things like that. This one doesn't do any of that. It just has like a, a standard account. But uh, anyway, I will just let it uh, finish up here, and I will I will be back once we uh, have restarted. All right, it looks like we have uh, finished here, and it didn't take that long for me. I'm not really sure about you guys, but uh, it didn't even take 10 minutes at all. Uh, but we are now loading the Longhorn desktop. And as you see, we're getting all these, like, found new hardware wizard boxes coming up. And I'm just going to click on cancel. Now, what is uh, pretty interesting about this build is this sidebar over here. And as you see, we got to take a tour of Windows XP, even though this is not XP. With the, I guess they didn't change that yet. But yeah, like I said, the most, the probably the most interesting thing about this build is this uh, sort of like beta uh, sidebar, which was in uh, Windows Vista, but it it did not really look like this. It was um, a lot more transparent. And you see, this has things like uh, like search and uh, quick launch and then the cl uh, classic tray down here um, so it didn't like it had more than just plain gadgets like uh, uh, Windows Vista had and then uh, Windows 7 kind of just got rid of the sidebar and just had gadgets and Windows 8 got rid of the gadgets altogether so I mean but you can see we can like, take away the clock tile which I kind of didn't want to do I think we can get that back though you can yeah here's like a Here's the little menu up here with all these different uh, sort of like widgets we have or gadgets, whatever you want to call them. And we can turn on like the sync widget or sync gadget, synchronize. I'm not sure what it's going to synchronize with it. Oh, it's probably like the offline. Okay, so it's the offline web pages and all that. Um, user, which shows like uh, your user tile and some user uh, information. And uh, by the way, the uh, start menu looks pr pretty similar to the one that's in Windows XP, just like with a different uh, color to it, like a different theme. Uh, and all programs, yeah, it looks pretty much the same, just with a different color. And as you see, this is what a uh, pop-up message looks like. It says uh, six days left for activation, and it kind of looks pretty cool. You can like 
or I thought you could drag me around. I guess you can't. And you can uh, create an exception to these and that. And it, like, has these uh, do not disturb periods you, you can create, which I don't think Vista had. Um, you can like, I, I guess, not be notified about anything for a certain amount of time, but we can just get rid of that. And we got this uh, clock down here. If you didn't want to see this one up here, we got like, this like still the plain uh, old taskbar clock. Um, now the uh, build here, like it says, Onghorn Lay Professional Play. Um, I think that was, it says on the uh, wiki for this that Microsoft, I think it was, they were trying to add like some some sort of like different language or something like that. I'll, I'll put something up on the screen to kind of explain that, but they were trying to test something because a lot of people when this build came out, they were, running, they were wondering like if this was uh, official or not. And uh, it turned out that it was, and it was just uh, Microsoft trying to uh, test out that new language or whatever it was they were adding in. Uh, so, yes, this is the uh, pretty nice background, Longhorn Milestone 5, and I will actually show you the, uh, as you see, like, most of the windows, they, they kind of look the same, it just has this uh, prequel theme called Plex, and we can uh, change it back to the Windows XP style if you wanted to, which I'll just do just you know just for fun I guess now one thing that's interesting is the uh, taskbar and the, and the sidebar doesn't change at all but the uh, start menu does and all the windows do so as you see the uh, like all the context menus go back to the uh, XP style but I'll just bring it back to the Plex theme because that's kinda defeating the whole purpose of having the XP theme on Longhorn and I, I, I do kind of like this theme. It's, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, we got like a nice uh, screen saver here. Uh, let, let me run a Winver version check here, and I'll show you guys that uh, it just gets uh, registered to Windows user because it doesn't actually let you input your user information. And as you see, it says evaluation copy expires 12-17-2003. So you could pretty much set it to any date before that, but once it gets past uh, December 17th of 2003, this build is most likely going to stop working. And it's uh, NT 6.0 uh, version 4029.main. I'm not going to read all that, but and it says Longhorn Professional. So yeah, guys, uh, that is Windows Longhorn build 4029 again thank you for watching if you enjoyed uh, be sure to like comment and subscribe i'm planning on making more uh, windows beta videos like this in the future so uh, stay tuned for those and as always i will see you in the next video